Friday night. The whole squad is here and we are so excited to play with you. I hope you guys are ready. I think that playing on the phone is like the third best idea. Huh? <laughs> Second best idea. It's our holidays, right? Yeah. This week's holidays. I feel like true fans play on their phone and their computer. You should have two accounts and play on both. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Have people gotten it yet? Yeah. Shelby got it. I think we're doing pretty good. You know, I, I think that and you guys Luis, would be better at this game. <laughs> yeah. Luis got it, but I think he needed to put guests in front of Carolyn. Oh, yeah. No, that is a good rule. Make sure that if you're guessing, you put guests. I thought you, I totally thought you didn't have to do that. That's a good point. I think sometimes, yeah, I think that was a, that's something that you can do to make sure that it, it works for sure. Sometimes it's just pickier than others. Sometimes it cares about punctuation. Sometimes it doesn't. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> good point. It's mostly Trish's fault. Oh, that's fine. Trish, didn't you, me. didn't you write most of those hints? Yeah. Sometimes she was just in a bad mood. I don't, you know, understandable, I think. <laughs> I know Shelby has missed a few because of a couple apostrophes. The apostrophes kill me every single time. I don't know. It just no. decides. Apostrophes don't count. <laughs> you say that, but I think that they do. <laughs> <laughs> No, Dina, I swear, the apostrophes don't matter. Apostrophes sure capitalization matter. in spaces. <laughs> but we're going to find out right now. Spelling is also a killer. Hanukkah took us all out. Well, yeah. <laughs> we should we should definitely have some more alternate spellings for things that are not in a Latin alphabet. Because mm -hmm. who's to say what's the right way to spell Hanukkah? Cade being speedy, what on earth? Yeah. <laughs> I think that's I have to catch up. Do you? Aren't you still in first? No, I'm like 400 points behind right now. Listen, is Danielle in first? Danielle's always in first. Danielle is in first. I feel like a lot of the players are like expert players who have stuck with us for a while and have seen the sketches. So I feel like they're like, they literally one line drawn and it's like, oh, easy. <laughs> You think that, but now that I've seen a lot of them, I'm still like, I know I've seen this five times and I don't know what it is. I can't remember. <laughs> Fair point. That might just be a you thing. That might just be a me thing. As the youth say, it is a skill issue. <laughs> <laughs> what generation is the youth? Because it's not me anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be honest, I thought it was me, because I'm Gen Z, and so I'm like, oh, I've always been the youth, but now I think it's Gen Alpha, who's the one below me. I turned 27 last week, and I was like, I am no longer the youth. It's not me anymore. That is devastating. Uh, yeah, I was... Wow, well, maybe apostrophes do count. I told you! <laughs> Well, 
動けない Usually, what we, what we try to do is where it's really tricky. We give a couple of alternate, like, correct answers. You know, like,、uh, right. Like, Hanukkah's got a couple. We just don't have whatever crazy spelling you guys came up with. Where's Kodiak? He could tell us the right way to spell, spell Hanukkah, I bet. <laughs> And you can't. Well, differently every time. It's whatever, whatever I feel. No, it was me that butchered it so bad that it didn't recognize it.、Uh. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Oh, I think Eric just asked in chat something that we have been debating for a while. He asked, when will Fred come on live? The artist.、Uh, well, there we go. Federico Viene. I don't know. Que bella la luna se esta sera bella, Federico. Federico lives in Rome. He's Italian. Yes. You know, you want to get an artist, you got to go to Rome. So this looks a lot like Italy, doesn't it? Yeah, this looks like an Irish uncle's night. I so confidently said President's Day. So confidently. Oh, that's really f u n y Because of the top hat. It, the hat and the beard are the first things. And I was like, hey, Lincoln, easy. <laughs> no, I was so wrong. I was Just, trying to think of an Amish holiday, but I couldn't come up with one. <laughs> I think they're against holidays.、Oh, I think no、right. fun. <laughs> Could see how somebody else spelled it. Lepre.、Mm -hmm. That's what I. It, this is a collaborative <laughs> game. I don't have somebody else to type it. Lepreconica. Lepre. <laughs> 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 oh, that's so funny. Festival of tights. <laughs> of green tights. Yeah, I don't know. I was just saying that about the Amish.、Um, they, they, they don't seem like they are like into like frivolity, but I don't know what holidays they celebrate and, and, and in what manner they do. Right. I think you're probably but, right. But、uh, what do I know? I saw a movie, Harrison Ford movie. That's all I know. I grew up near Amish country. I should know more about them. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Could you text some of your Amish friends? And... <laughs> oh, yeah. That's close, to, that's close to me. I'm upstate. So, why do you, you text your Amish friends, Fish? That's it. Well, I have to <laughs> ring the bell for the Pony Express and <laughs> deliver a letter to them. <laughs> a pigeon. I, I grew up near Kutztown. Near what town? Kutztown. Kutztown? Kutztown, near like Allentown. Oh,、uh, uh, it's, it's like the scrapple capital of the world, right? Yeah. <laughs> so good. Never... It's good food. Good food, good furniture. I just don't know about their holidays. This is a holiday? Okay, I, I have a buddy who's, who lives out that way. Now and he's funny, he's kind of a gentleman farmer, so he probably wait. You know, what is it? Does do? commerce with the Amish? Yeah, I've never heard the term gentleman like, farmer. Gentleman farmer. What does that mean? <laughs> gentleman farmer is where, like, if the crop doesn't come and you go, nah, they do mostly furniture, but they also run a they do they've got a, a small flock of sheep. No, I'm not convinced this is a real thing. Gentleman farmer, no. <laughs> Okay,、oh, that's kind of horrible. Maybe next year.、Mm -mm. They're like on a tractor, just in their like suit and tie. That's what I'm envisioning. Yeah. <laughs> you know,、Business、drinking、cabinet. like a fine white wine. No, whiskey. Yeah. Well, that's what a real farmer drinks. But, you know, Trish can answer all the farmer questions. Just grew up on a farm. 
<laughs> I used to go up and visit when, when I was a youngster. Okay, it wasn't a working farm, just so you guys know. My parents had a ton of property, and uh, so we had the occasional, you know, pig or cow or something that they thought was fun for like five seconds, and then that was it. You know, that's almost the definition of a gentleman farmer. Oh, okay. Would you call your dad a gentleman farmer? My dad is not a gentleman, period, so. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> scary. Lovable, but scary. There. <laughs> What holiday is this? This is like career day. Labor day. Labor day. Oh. The next one coming up. That's the one where you got to put away your, or where you get to take out your white shoes and start wearing them again until Memorial Day. I or actually really around. couldn't tell you what day of the year Labor Day or Memorial Day are. You know, the one that comes right. first. Right, in September. Yeah. Is Memorial Day. You bring out the white shoes. You bring out the they white shoes and you bring out the white liquids, the clear liquids, and you put away the brown liquids <laughs> until the next, yeah. until the, the other one, Labor Day. The next season, right. Yeah. God. Yeah, no, I know that Labor Day, I know that Labor Day is in September. get together and we go to like someone's beach house and it's always like it's always around like september okay that's a little chill a little bit it's still like it's like still it's like that point in september where it's like still a little warm like you could feasibly go to the beach mm. oh i know this one the muffin man the muffin man <laughs> Shelby, you were quick that time. I got it. <laughs> Thanks, Tina. You know, uh, you can just type G instead of guess if you're feeling like you really want to get that extra couple milliseconds. Okay, but was your or somebody's answer to the guess, was it gingery? Or she just said that? That was <laughs> somebody. Yes, yeah, so I can go back and highlight it. Don't worry. I'll put it on the screen. Enjoy. Gingy. Gingy. <laughs> yeah, that was me. <laughs> Gingy. Gingy. Ooh, I'm on the board. Yeah, good profile pick there, Trish. Thanks. We should play another game called Who's Got the Best Profile Pick? JJ Stewart, your profile pick is wild. What is mine? It doesn't look like you. It looks like a different man. I believe it is. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> so that actually is me. Oh. <laughs> Did you used to be an old man? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I? <laughs> so I guess, I've, I guess I've gotten younger, which yes. thank you. <laughs> So the Kodiak Jew, I think, I think appropriately calls out Shelby for having a great pick, but you've got a pretty great profile pick yourself there. The uh, I'm Jew. just not, yeah, he is, I like that. It's a, it's a film reference, Trish. What Have is you it? ever seen Inglorious Bastards? No? You know I haven't. I know you haven't. You know you haven't I haven't. Oh, anything. who's going to spoil it? I wish we lived close by. I would take you to movies all the time. We would go see everything. We'd go see Dune. Listen, you keep promising me that we're going to sit and have like a full-blown sure. movie weekend and watch every film I've never watched. It's because you want to come to New Jersey. No, you guys have earthquakes there. <laughs> <laughs> How's your snow right now? I heard you guys had a big storm. No, we have zero. Cool. Yeah. It's like a cold spring. How do I do? Oh, I just fully didn't even get... Did I was... I... JJ, you may have to hit refresh on the dock. I'm not oh. seeing anybody get... It, get uh... I guess Menora. I'm not oh, getting any the... happy answers there. <laughs> okay, I just re I just refreshed the doc, so the social stream. Right. Yeah. Um, yeah. Sorry, I was. I think I might have been a little bit distracted because I got flashbacks to earlier today with the 
earthquake. <laughs> yeah, it was crazy. Yeah. It was just crazy. Literally. Like, we were on a, I remember we were on a call together. I've told the story many times already. We were on a call and suddenly like the pictures on my wall started to shake. I thought it was a really strong gust of wind. And then like I ran downstairs and was like, oh my gosh, we're And it went on for a really long time. I grew up in Los Angeles. I know what an earthquake feels like, but but that was like, that was a big deal. Yeah, Um. what was the final? My nephew said it, it registered like a 5.5 or something. Is that right? Yeah, that's what I heard. Oh, wow. See, that's wild, because I got like a, five, a four, I thought it was like a 4.8, but. Yeah, I thought it was 4.4, and then it was like 4.8, and then he said it was 5.5. He's in uh, Hoboken. You guys are quick on the guesses. I know. Yeah. Oh, there we are. Trish, where does your nephew live? What state? He's here? Yeah, he's in Hoboken. Uh, how's his pickleball game? Does he play? Sam? Probably not strong, but his drinking game is... Yeah. Oh, whoa. Oh, I guess so. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I wonder it stopped. <laughs> yeah. It stopped answering. Oh, there we go. I think it's back. Mm hmm. So when I guess something and it comes up in chat, does everybody see what I guessed or no? Yes. We can see what you guessed. Okay. And depending upon where you're playing it, it either tells you you got it right or doesn't. Just sometimes it just tells you that it guessed. Mm-hmm. Mm. That shall be great answer. <laughs> yes. Louise just posted some sunglasses. Louise, are you in some place that's warm? Florida. Honestly, the whole of the U.S. It's crispy in Florida right now. It's kind of crispy. It's crispier than snowing. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Medium crisp. A seer. <laughs> yeah. Cold in Indiana, Cody. I could that. Interesting. Springtime right around the corner. You know, a nice I medium rare, me, if you will. I feel like the one weekend that you can count on is Derby Day for Saturday in May. And before that, it's you, you take your chances. Mm. So instead of depending on the groundhog to tell you the when spring is up, you have to depend on the horses. Or when spring is coming, it's the horses instead. Yeah, it's... Hmm. Don't get cake guess... started on the groundhog. <laughs> Listen, Proxitani Phil is a national treasure. <laughs> <laughs> and you don't know about him. <laughs> so what did he say this year? I don't know. I don't live in Pennsylvania anymore. <laughs> <laughs> and he's yep, not a yep. national treasure. He's a state treasure. Ah, uh, this is true. Punctuation. <laughs> but maybe, maybe punctuation should count. You know, maybe it's important for us to like cross our T's and dot our I's. You say that, but it already is counting. It, it is counting. And I think that we've proven pretty, pretty conclusively that it does matter. I know that that capitalization doesn't count. And if you put an extra space in, it doesn't, it doesn't matter. It's okay. But I guess punctuation counts. 
I would leave that punctuation off because we usually give an altered answer without the punctuation. That's a little bit of inside baseball. I have an update on Puxatawney Phil. He did not see a shadow this year, uh, meaning an early means an early spring. Um, But so that early spring is like April first, right? Yeah, it's either six weeks of winter if he does see a shadow, or early spring if not. And we he does that in mid February. Is that correct? Say that again. I said that, that we run the the experiment is done in mid February or late February. Uh, February second. February second. So, if it's if it's a long winter. It'll be another six weeks, meaning to like April 1st. And if it's a short winter, it'll be a short or an early yes. spring, which is around April 1st. Yes. Yeah. I can see that he's probably going to be right most of the time because it's the same. <laughs> yep. Man's a genius. Yeah. Not a man. It's a ground. A ro- rodent. <laughs> is a rodent a ground? Like, is a groundhog a rodent? Some of them are like not rodents there's something else no good question i'm i'm gonna i'm gonna side bet i'm gonna say that he's a rodent i think that he's in the he's in the beaver family I'm all right Kate is our fact checker on the groundhog so yeah where's our intern what we don't say have interns now? we have a lot of groundhogs here yes it is part of the rodent family It is a group of large ground squirrels. Oh. Uh, Then why is it called the the ground squirrel? Hmm. Oh, Whistlepick. Interesting. He is a rodent of the family Scuridae, belonging to the group of ground... Oh, thank you. You were just reading that. Oh. Got it. Um, It looks like the show has stuck. Why don't you hit it? Why don't you hit refresh there on the show manager? Okay. Something about it. I don't think it's the screen. On Fridays, we're educational. We have fun. We get competitive. We're learning. Yes. A little little natural history, as we call it. Some linguistics and grammar. Dina. Punctuation count. Do you know she's showing off? She says cooking it up and she used an apostrophe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know. We have a lot of groundhogs around here, and I do wonder whether or not they're eatable, edible. You can eat them. I don't know. Wait, are we still in groundhogs? Are they edible? Is that the question? It is. Anything is edible. <laughs> Yeah, you're angry enough. Some things only once. Listen, we've been watching a lot of bizarre foods. They eat everything. Uh. <laughs> Guinea pig is like a, a real delicacy. In- indeed. In like Peru. Yes. We go through the strangest shows to watch as like background noise. <laughs> You know, when you're as old as we are, you have spent like a plenty of time sitting in front of the TV going, there's nothing on. Oh, show about groundhogs. <laughs> That's what happens. Takes now a listen, me and Meerkat Manor, when I was like 14 years old. Double thumbs up. Old, that was it. <laughs> that rocket. <laughs> I miss that show. That was a great show. It's better than Succession. It's it's so good. My mom and I looked forward to it. I would rush home from school and be like, Mom, it's Meerkat Manor time. That's not a joke either. I'm dead serious. So now, you know, we all watch cat TV on YouTube, which is pretty good. <laughs> but it doesn't have, like, the continuity. It doesn't have the storyline, the characters mm-hmm. of Meerkat I'm so Manor. invested in the Meerkat. Uh, have you seen uh, Chimpanzee Empire? I have not. Oh, Netflix. <laughs> Worth the, the whole subscription is worth it right there. <laughs> there goes our Friday night. Mm-hmm. It's very similar. <laughs> 
So, Dina, I will give you another shortcut, which is that if you're pretty confident in what your guess is going to be, you actually don't need to say the word guess. You can just guess. But you won't get any feedback whether you got it right or wrong. You can pull a Cade and just pre-type the word guess. Uh, oh! Interesting. Well done. Expose me. Yep. <laughs> Are good. Taking shots fired. I'm in. I'm in the other room. Mm -hmm. And now the student is the master. <laughs> Trish, don't you laugh? You don't know that. That's a Star Wars reference. No, I just know a story that my daughter told me, but it's much more QOTV material, so I'll save it. But remind me about the student in the middle. Oh, God. Okay. You guys have to come to QOTV, and this week we'll talk about it on Thursday. Yes. <laughs> Throw one of those out there every once in a while so that you know people can, oh shoot that should not have shown up oh do you clicked it oh i did that <laughs> yeah. all right medium difficulty here we go mm. There's always one guy that asks for the hint so early on. <clears throat> <laughs> yeah, you know, we're, we're, you know, there's a limit on it now where you can only do one guess a minute. But I'm thinking that what we're doing is we're going to change it so each person only gets one guess. I'm Ooh. sorry, one hint. Um, one hint per sketch or one hint? Some, maybe it's going to be one hint per show. Ooh. Or something like that. Okay. So mm -hmm. that everybody has to work together. Oh, Eric, what happened? <laughs> G, G, G moves in silence like lasagna. He thought he was the G was for guess. <laughs> <laughs> that is so funny. That was not meant to be a guess. <laughs> <laughs> that is hilarious. on the leaderboard <laughs> i gotta get my game on man <laughs> you gotta guess faster i do this is only on fridays i can't come any other days you can come every day i can i can bulk my score up during the week you can come in every day trish mm -hmm. all right then i'm gonna blow you out you're all gonna be surprised next friday you're gonna be like... you say that like we're not here every day too <laughs> You might not be watching me as closely when I do my stealth moves at like 2 a.m. <laughs> hey, you know, we got room for another guest. One of you guys out there in, in the chat, you guys want to be on the on the show live next time? <gasps> A celebrity yes. guest? Yeah. Everybody's Maybe we'll get that to the high score. Cody, I got the life hack right there. You can comment guesses on older videos from the week and still get points. 
Oh, you guys, you're dead Damn. next Friday. I <laughs> <laughs> play this all week like it's my job. Oh my God. Nine to five. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Kodiak knows it, man. Those are the rules. Rules is rules. We we follow the rules around here. Yes. I gotta really I gotta buckle in. I'm gonna lose my spot here. What? Yeah, I think it would be fun to do a game that was like this, that was just like really obscure trivia. Yeah. So you had to like work out. It was like you'd never know it. I'm so glad we're putting on National Anthem, right? That would be obscure. I simply asked my brother who lives in New Jersey if he felt the earthquake, and he went into this whole like, lengthy thing about how yes but it was really strange because he was talking to somebody in new york city and they felt at first and she didn't but then she did because through through rocks that is then he had to like clarify i was like you're such a nerd just say yes yes i felt the earthquake that's all i asked <laughs> unbelievable so yeah if you need obscure nerd wisdom i know a guy <laughs> I'll see you one better. Is a gentleman farmer too? <laughs> <Like that. laughs> I'll see you one better. My friend um, apparently works, like at her job, she works with someone from, um, like a professor from Rowan University who like told her that the fault line that the earthquake appeared on occurred on hadn't been active since the 1800s. So tell your brother that and add that to his repertoire. <laughs> <laughs> I have to tell him on a different day because this morning he blew my mind with science and I just I'm trying to get back on track in the real world here. <laughs> oh, I guess wrong. What was that? So Eric asks a question, uh, do we have presets to use for our families on TV? So, so the answer is that you can certainly play any of the live games on your TV and all you do is you just go to the YouTube channel and then open up your YouTube at, at the same time and it will sync and then you can have lots of people who are playing in chat that and that's for the live shows um, but um, for the 24 hours a day um, we do have an app um, that you can use for playing with your family well, I'll, I'll, I'll find the link to that so that you guys can can do it. It's been a while since uh, since we, you know, ignited that. But I would like to. Mm -hmm. Trisha apparently likes the the app a lot better. <laughs> I do like the app. Yeah. I'm not going to invite my family, but I like the app. I'll join his family. I'll I'll, I'll get something out. And uh, and I'll drop you a note. Oh my gosh, oh. Tina, if you would buy some merch, we have the most adorable merch for Sketch the Cat. Uh, here, let me. Sh if you go to this link, which I am putting in the chat, I also would like to see the merch. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Wait a second. Bowl. Go find the link. So we used okay. to, it was on QOTD app, but I think that I may have um, removed it because it looked, there just wasn't a lot of QOTD uh, stuff. But I'm going to send you guys a link right now. Here we go. Now, listen, if we're going to do Friday night fights, we should have like the top scorer get some merch t shirt or a trucker hat. Oh, that's good. Yeah. That's smart. It's about to get Some a little incentive. more sensitive. Yeah. It's heating up. Do you guys have mugs? Yeah. What? 
Yeah, no, we have mugs. We have, I have like a, a sweatshirt. Um, there's a hat, there's a shirt, there's a lot of good items out there. Oh, that's awesome. Do they have, like, sketch the cat on them? Like, the actual cat? You are asking such a good question, but you know what? Here's the link. Ooh, 20% off. There's a sale, guys. There's a sale. I will tell you all my favorites. Uh, I like the, the the hoodie. The hoodie's fabulous, and it's actually really inexpensive. Uh, that is my favorite. A lot of people like uh, the shirt with the boxing cat. Mm. Just who gets to wear the merch in our house will change on a week-to-week -week basis, depending on who wins on that week. Right. <laughs> the real question is, though, is it just one item of merch, or is it the whole set? So, like, you have one person who's in uh, late <laughs> clothes, and the other person is like, got the hat, drinking from the mug, has the sweatshirt over the shirt. <laughs> I'm down for the whole, you know, you got to commit, you got to go all in. What about ears? Like a pair of like sketches ears. Just saying, I would wear those. Oh. <laughs> I'm sh I'm shocked we don't have that already. That would be right? so fun. <laughs> As somebody with Disney experience, you're you made that a good connection there. Just... Oh my gosh, how do I spell this word? I got in the wrong place now. <laughs> <laughs> Not Cody, you help me out. Today, hey, count in mine. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> but again, I'm going to go back and say that I think it's hard to say that there's one right way to spell it because. It's it's not it's not just not an English word. It's it's not. Right. There's no mm -hmm. Latin language, like authoritative. This is what it is. Right, and it's I before E, except after C. I, I think that that we should go back into the table and add like a couple more alternatives, like yeah. I put a couple, like the one with the Y. Um, the way you spelled it though, Trish, is it's just all American. It can't. It was. Well, you know, that, <laughs> that is not. That's not gonna. I don't think that's gonna pass. I don't think that's kosher. <laughs> not for Passover. Not for nothing. I... Saying it differently, like that was dreidel instead of dreidel. Yeah. It doesn't remember. Oh, wow. first time. I didn't even see this one. There's a black hat. Oh, wow. Yeah, the, the sweatshirt's really cool. There's this, the ball hog cat. There's like a tie dye t shirt that I really like a lot. Um, mm. I don't love the stickers. I'm just going to come right out and say it. Don't buy the stickers. Don't? No. Yeah, no, the t shirts are good. Okay. Uh, but, um, but yeah, I like, I like the, the tie dye shirt. I like the mug that I drink my coffee out of every day. And I like the, the hoodie a lot. Hmm. Yeah, I feel like stickers, they used to be big, but I, th I think it was like you would stick them on like water bottles and laptops. But I feel like maybe it's just me getting older, but I feel like I don't really do that as much as anymore. Six. That was a good score there. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta get the whole name. But Keith, I thought, did you spell it wrong? Isn't know. it Cindy Shall Lou? We, I, know, yeah, I got, I got forty-six answer. points. I somebody guessed Susie Lou. Somebody guessed Mary Lou. <laughs> <laughs> Mary. <laughs> oh, Susie was Trish. 
Oh, <laughs> You're thinking Susie Q. <laughs> Oh my god. She's like, oh, that's the person I was making fun of. The one I'm right inside your brain. Oh, yeah, Mary Lou, I will call you out. I will find your comment. In it. <laughs> Cindy Lou. Oh. Oh, Susie Lou, who, who is no more than two. You know, the first time that we played this game and we had a bunch of people come in and try it out and they said, you know, we're kind of sad because you can't see the wrong answers and mock them. But now we can. Now you oh, can. but I can. And yes. I will pin them to the screen. You are welcome, everyone. You are welcome. There are a few things Shelby loves more than calling people out. <laughs> Cindy Lou. Okay. So what I'm going to add, I have a new feature I'm going to add this week. And this has all been really fun stuff. But I'm going to, I'm adding collectibles. You inspired me, Shelby. I saw you doing that collectible show. When you get like a whole um, set done that you get a, a card, you get like a badge and then you, you got to get them all. Yeah. Like a wacky You, know, you got to get them all. And so, yeah, though, I, I'm going to try to do that this weekend. If that there's not too many more earthquakes. Yes. <laughs> I'm ready for this. Wait, what is the backstory from the collectibles in Shelby? I, I've seen a podcast with Shelby cracking open cards and opening people's like collectible playing cards for them. True or false? True. True. Yeah. And I like the, the idea of like, Get, having something, you know, and we'll start off with something that's that's non-physical. Um, but could you make that for like a weekly winner? I'm, I'm kind. Of, I, I've printed. I've done decks of cards before. I did another game. I've done like a lot. I've done like 300 games. I did a game <laughs> called Evil Magic Finger, and it, it was a card game that you would play on your TV, and you would have your your iPad or your phone or something, and you would have to draw. You'd have to sketch magic spells on it. It was a great game, Ooh. and um, but uh, but so I had to print cards so that people could have them and learn all the spells, hmm. and so uh, um, and I had to print cards. That's what I wanted to say. Ah, 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 ah. The Count Dracula laugh. <laughs> that was good. One. Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> to the screen with the category. The fun fact is so funny. <laughs> <laughs> Some of them are like super out of pocket and I'm so here for it. <laughs> yes. Yeah, the fun facts are, are fun. JJ, do you mean the scene that we just passed? Yeah. Shall we turn your caps lock off? <laughs> no, I, was just, I, I was ready for it. It's kind of a technical, <laughs> technical side conversation yeah, going on on the back. You shouldn't count. I was just ready for, for it. Right oh my gosh. <laughs> How did he come Guys, back again? Gingerbread man. <laughs> I don't even see how that's possible. Oh.
my score is broken. So JJ, are we all, have we gone through the whole set? I think Danielle's happened. killing it. Danielle, I can't, I can't compete with you. Right? We should do like duper. Mm. Yeah, I think what happened was, I think we, because we had to restart the show, I think it got, the order got rearranged a little bit. So okay. there might have been some. Okay, okay, okay. So we'll see some freshies. That's oh, yeah. important. Yes. The important thing, the, maybe the true fun is the friends we made along the way. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Yeah, just like, just like uh, jumping out of airplanes. That's a good point, JJ. <laughs> so true. like a weekly or a monthly leaderboard that it cycles through is like oh danielle is a three-time champion so this leaderboard is for the week she's gotten yeah. that many points this week yeah uh, yeah exactly all right forget about that big game i was talking <laughs> she just came to NASA. but so so jj what are we starting like a celebrity category tomorrow? Um, actually, this is one of the few weeks where they diverge um, because this week is we're going vacation mode. So we have some outdoor activities and we're going on a little tour. I guess we could call it like global tour because we're also going in like we're going to visit like the Americas, some famous Euro uh, Americas tourist sites, some famous Europe tourist, tourist sites. Don't give it away. I'm not saying any specific. Spoilers. I'm not saying anything. <laughs> there should be like a hand sign for spoiler alert. Oh, there should be. Uh, retro in retrospect, spoiler <laughs> alert. <laughs> but so, yeah, uh, that'll be exciting. But so starting tomorrow, we'll just have a whole new set and then we'll... We'll start from scratch. I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna really focus. You, you, you may not believe it, but there's like a lot of the sketches I've never seen. Because oh, wow. Federico, he works like in mysterious ways. He like goes up into his artist garret, and then just like we wake up and there's just like an inbox full of sketches. <laughs> Literally. Well. writes the you know the, what the correct answer is and like so you should be complaining to her <laughs> <laughs> and... like that's so typical like artists like they just work in <laughs> mysterious ways like you yeah. said you just never know and like if you listen every once in a while we'll turn the music off and you can hear like what's going on like in his his studio and it's like it's spooky he has a, just a different life Yeah, you'll hear like buses passing by. Someone will like open a door and close it. And, like yeah, oh my like gosh. the bells, like like if he's in the middle of the day, like you'll hear every church bell go off in Rome. It's really yeah. beautiful. Yeah. But then yeah, but then there's also like trucks and stuff. It's weird. I, I just I sit there and I speculate. Like, what is he doing? Yeah. Well, I what guess does it's his lucky? life look like. I don't even know what he looks like. <laughs> we gotta get him on the show. We mm -hmm. need to. Desperately. Well, I guess we're lucky though that he doesn't live. Because I know that um I'm trying to remember, I think it's in um Zagreb in Croatia, the capital city. I know because I went there. Um and we're lucky that he's not there doing art at like noon every day, because at every day at noon in that city they let they like shoot a cannon. They like literally they're like like it will be like not it'll be a blank so they're not like shooting cannonballs on the city below but they'll like let a cannon go off every day at noon 
What's the wow. reason? Um, I'm trying to, I think it's just like a tradition. Listen, you just like, said you lived there. I expected you to live there. Oh, no, no, I went, I went there. I didn't live there. <laughs> <laughs> This is when I randomly drop that I've lived in Croatia for like a couple of years of my life and I wasn't in fact a born and bred New Jerseyan. <laughs> they do it to <laughs> yes. Yes, I Eric says. Interesting. Yeah. I also went there with my family, and we had we did have a couple of like very um, fun nights, I guess you could say. You'll probably not see us staying too hard if you're there with your family. You would think. <laughs> <laughs> We're, we're, my, me and my sister were both like young adults, so we're, we're we are of the age that we can party. Good facilities. What you think? <laughs> oh, <laughs> we did not play pickleball in Croatia, unfortunately. What do you mean? We you went to Croatia and you didn't play pickleball? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, we didn't. It, it completely slipped our mind. We were too busy at the beaches. Yeah, I've been on the injured reserve for two weeks. This is my. I'm playing tomorrow for the first time in a while. Pretty pumped up. <laughs> Big like day. Visualizing it. Pretty spot on, I think. That could be pickleball, or that could be ping pong. Either yeah, I talk a big game. I'm actually not very good. <laughs> Better than me. Have we ever played? I haven't, no. Yeah. Yeah. Then I'm probably better than you. You've never played. <laughs> <laughs> oh. The typo took me out. <laughs> Let me pop in and see what happens there. Try again. See oh, pop me. I put it in. <laughs> That's kind of weird. I don't know why I didn't like that. Try again. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, because it is Mother's Day, not a posture. Oh, Lord. Take me back to fifth grade this game well. Mm. I have to take a look at that. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Who did I beat? Me. I think Kay beat me. JJ, look at your picture. I want to know about those 33 countries that don't celebrate Mother's Day. The heck's wrong with them? (laughs) (laughs) Wow. Don't you love your mothers? Shelby, that typo knocked you down to fourth place now. That typo killed me. Yeah. the crowd now <laughs> so is there anybody here who, who has not answered this question yet i have you haven't i have yes you have answered it yeah this was what we started right and then we JJ, went you know, there, there's a skip button there there is if you ever feel like it yeah i'm gonna i'm gonna show it i'm gonna send it to you on the secret inside you want to see secret chat. secret chat 
Now, you know, that's an option that I need is like put skip in chat and force you just to forget that one that I. That would be an interesting thing to do. Put a command that does. I really that. like that his eyes are going in two different directions. <laughs> And, you know, I'll skip it once the because now that we've gotten into it, if there's anyone like joining who wants to watch, I'm like, I don't want to like skip yeah. it. I feel like it should be like a like a secret like Easter egg function where you type in a command and it gives you like groundhog trivia. <laughs> Did you know that the groundhog <laughs> is also called right? The because truck? everybody loves the. Facts. Yeah. Mm, that's a good idea. Yeah. Or maybe maybe it could be like a spelling bee where it's like it's a fun fact that also sort of doubles as a hint. Okay, Danielle. We should, <laughs> we should probably do cat trivia. Oh yeah. yeah. That would be better. Danielle getting guesses that haven't even happened yet. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Danielle, you got that one really scary. fast. Watch me get this one without even knowing. Without the drawing. <laughs> I will not be dethroned. I will not be dethroned. She means biz, No. Never. Yeah, so I think that Dina, yeah. when you get something right, you could be rewarded. You get credits where you can, you know, cash those in for cat trivia. Oh, smart. You know, so, or, or a joke or a cat joke, like, you know, or merch. You type that in and it gives you like a cat joke. Mm. <laughs> cats are really scary. I got, I've got cats. They're scary. What do you mean they're scary? I don't think I want to talk about it, but I mean, like, my, I got like indoor outdoor cats, and they're like, they, they look so cute. I have a rag doll. You know what they look like? Like long <laughs> hair, big eyes. They look like like anime characters, but then they come home with like 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 headless bunnies and stuff. Here, Toast is making a cameo. I was gonna say, yeah, we need to see Toast. Toast. A burnt piece of toast. Oh, it's a good one. <laughs> is my is my lucky cat right now? Oh, baby, that's so sweet. I we always talk about on QOTD. If you want like a surefire way to like win a question or like do really well, you have to show your pets. Yep. Mm -hmm. It's mandatory. Get mm -hmm. it. I have options right now. I was going to say, we have four cats. We have so many. <laughs> Win. A huge day for the Sketch the Cat crowd. <laughs> That's awesome. I thought he was going, I thought he was making Toast. I didn't realize Toast was the name of the cat. His name is Toast. He has a big, like, stuffed avocado toast that he sleeps on. Oh, cute. <laughs> Why not Nighthawk? He's not cool enough for Nighthawk. <laughs> He's really not. He, he really is Toast. Not. He is, he has brain for bread. Bread or for bread brain. brain. <laughs> I guess we both do. Not bread for brain. <laughs> Rain for bread. <laughs> That's awful. I love it. <laughs> he is a simple, simple man. He yeah. really is. All the best pets are, though. Don't make me bring out the crippled cat. Oh. Scoot is an experience. Scoot. Scoot, yes. For, so for context, I was a vet tech for like five years. So all of our animals are broken because I got them all from work. Oh, um, okay. But Scoot's back legs don't work. So all he can do is scoot. Uh, so he's, he's appropriately named. Uh-huh. 
he has different. He has all four of his legs, Danielle. The back two just don't work. I think that's very wise because you might as well just call him that so he gets used to it because you know the other cats are going to call him Scoot. <laughs> <laughs> oh my. He's yeah, honestly, that way he's like, yeah, that's my name. Don't use it out. Like he doesn't even know his legs don't work. He is so fast. He just scoots. And, and back to my it? earlier point, my guess is that the cat with his legs that don't work probably kills everything. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh. Yes. Yeah. They're, they're unreal. <laughs> his, back, his back legs don't work. So like the front half of his body is all just like muscle. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> like I feel like you see those pictures. Like <laughs> unedited. <laughs> that is scoot. Like those gym guys that skip leg day. <laughs> oh my god. So how long have we been screening for? Should this be the last sketch? I know the answer to that. Let's do this sketch and then one more. Okay. And then we will it's declare time. like partied out. <laughs> Yes. I'm so partied. Uh oh. We party. But what happens at my house on on uh, Friday afternoons at around this time is something called the Yappy Hour, where all the dogs in the neighborhood come by and like have treats. Oh. And their owners come by and usually have a treat too. Is it scotch? It's <laughs> okay. Prosecco. Oh. Often. Yeah, or just, you know, tea, That's like coffee. A yuppie, yappy hour you got going on there. Yeah. Prosecco. No, it's it's pretty good. I thought you were going to say it's yappy hour because all the dogs in the neighborhood just start barking at the same time. And there's a lot of that, too. <laughs> oh, my God. That's terrifying. Yeah. I used to take pride in my lawn. I know it's stupid, but I used to like 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 nurture it. And now it's just like it, it's like a racetrack. There's like parts that are burned away, and then big clumps where you know the dogs go. It's it's terrible. Oh. Yeah, that's why I need like a good dog park. So that way, it's like the, you can ruin the lawn that's meant to be ruined. Yeah, I'm with you, but. Uh... Yeah, you'd think that you were trying to like, you know, build uh, like a, a soccer stadium in town the way that the town, you know, <laughs> like rejects the idea of there being a good dog park. Well, you guys probably got dog parks where you live, but you know, but you've got like alligators there too, right? We have dog lakes, we have dog parks, we have a dog beach, whole nine yards. Wow. Okay. No. Florida. Florida. That's where you want to be if you want to raise your dog. Mm -hmm. That doesn't make any sense. I know. Oh. oh god. Yeah, no, I always like I always think the rule for me the rule is whatever temperature you are, your dog is like 10, 20 degrees warmer. So I can't imagine like trying to be a husky in an environment like Florida. That sounds awful. Also, we live in an apartment complex and I'm always like, why did you get a husky puppy that is going to roast and scream nonstop? Mm -hmm. But if yeah. you live in an apartment and you've got a husky, you should get one of those teacup huskies. You should just not have a husky in an apartment <laughs> or in Florida at all. <laughs> Yeah. No, you gotta something something without a lot of hair. <laughs> yes. So this is our last sketch. This is it. I didn't even of the day. Up. This has been such a good week. You know, I loved this whole holiday thing. We we kind of spanned the whole year, even though we we did start out for the, the holiday that's currently on the screen right now, you know, but then we hit everything. I, I enjoyed it. Um, it was fun. But I, I gotta say that this group of players, you guys have the highest scores I have ever seen. 
We used to be proud when we got to like 400. <laughs> <laughs> now we're like, oh, 400, that's it? You guys are awesome. Yeah. It's like when I used to play Call of Duty with my kids. And then it became not fun really fast. Oh my god. Cod? Kid Cod. Cod with kids. <laughs> you, think, you think that's inappropriate? You guys, that was so fun. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. This was so fun. It was fun to like be able to talk and hang around. It was great. Friday afternoon party. Oh, yeah. yeah. I guess I'll see you guys online uh, during the week. We're live at 4 p.m. every day. Come hang out with us. Awesome. Every day? Every day. Cool. I definitely will. <laughs> yes. Awesome. All right, everybody. Thanks for hanging out. Happy Friday. Um, Happy I hope everyone has a great weekend, and I'll see you guys at 4 p.m. tomorrow. Bye. Bye.